Hello everyone. So today I'm going to work on this uh, dynamic input tips. Tips here you can see. Press left mouse button to cancel. So when I if I press the mouse button, you see it is cancelled. Also here you have this shotgun. If I go here, press E to swap crossbow with mossberg so this tip also appears but if i switch to the top down game mode here you see if i press g press to cancel my input is not dynamically uh, added to the screen tip similarly here also press to swap so the input button is does not appear here so I'm gonna address this issue in the top-down game mode in this episode so originally I worked on this uh, dynamically taking inputs from the enhanced input system and how to get it into show in the UI I explained all the details in this tutorial which you can see in YouTube for free so today I'm gonna integrate the same system into the top-down player controller we will have a bit of refactoring to accommodate the command functions that is common for both top-down player controller and the third person player controller so that we will have all the features of the third person mode in the top-down game mode as well including including these tips all right so that's what i am going to do and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done from my channel. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limits. Also, you can watch all other episodes that I have done in the top down game mod in this playlist. And also, you can watch all the episodes that I have covered the third person game mod here. So I'll leave the links to both playlists in the description below. All right, now back to work. So, okay. So the first thing is, let me show you here. Let me switch back to the single player game mode and open player controller class. So here I'll show the function that I have implemented in order to dynamically get uh, input bindings. So here you have, you see this function, get input. So basically I do this get enhanced input mapping. Here is the implementation of this function. Let me remove this unused stuff. and this is working fine in the third person game mode so i want to use the same function for the top down game mode as well so this is implemented get input is implemented through this clm bpi player controller interface which you can see here so the easiest method would be to implement in this same CLM BPI player controller interface in this uh, in the top down player controller as well. So here, let me switch to top down and open top down player controller. So this one is not or oh, it's already does implement, but I haven't implemented that get input function. Okay so first thing is here let me rename this ls player controller into top sorry not top down tps player controller because this is the third person game mode and we are using calling this already clm top down player controller maybe i'll just add the clm as part as well just for marketing purposes okay now, uh, where do I have this? Top down BP. Uh, 
oh here we have this player controller code like me but i don't think i am using it anywhere because this is something that i implemented a long time ago so here i'll define a new player controller base player on controller all right now here i'll implement this clmbpi player controller Now here we get get current game mode, get target location, get input. These are the three functions available here. And I have implemented this get current game mode here, get target game uh, location. I have implemented those two functions already in the top down game mode. So yeah. We go back to base player controller get current game mode i'll promote this to a variable just game mode is fine and as the default i'll leave third person i don't think i have a game mode variable in anywhere no true good okay and the other thing is get target location so target location let's promote this as a variable just target location okay and then finally get input so get input is implemented in here third person player controller like this so basically all this part is not used all i need is this this part get enhanced input key mapping which is this so here the only external variable i think i have is this one imc let me just copy this function into base player controller if i compile i should get errors yeah this one I'll remote this to a variable. Now no errors, but we need to set it somewhere. And I do set it for the third person game mode here, like this. So I'll copy this part because I need to do the same thing in the base player controller as well. And I'll promote it as a function, collapse it to a function. You need initialize input. Now I need to check what's the default value here. We have used IMC player. So I'm going to use the same. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, uh, now this function should automatically work 
the function where we get enhanced input this function because we have all the valid variables here okay now the next thing is get input basically call this initialize input mapping i think i have used it as a peer function here the peer function so it's not uh why seven eight oh sorry that's not what i meant to do i need to convert this get enhanced input mapping to a peer function it's already a peer function okay oh sorry get input so basically this interface function is just a wrapper for this all right now this part is done and the next thing is i'll go to this top down player controller and then go to class settings and as the parent i'll choose this player and parent okay now here you can see we are overriding get input, get current game mode, and get target location. So we don't need to override them. So let me delete that. Right. Now I go to class defaults and as the game mode I just change it to top down now here if I press G now you see I already get press left mouse button but my aiming is not working oh Oh, amazing is working but no it's not okay i think my oh this is target location but uh here is uh let me rename this and... oh replace references oh sorry i'm in the i'm in the base let's go here target location to replace this with target location that comes from the parent so what's the difference here now uh, there is a space which i don't want to have a space so let me rename this just to see and this one i'll remove this space i did the renaming initially in the child just to see uh, avoid any potential conflicts now we can replace okay. Find and replace all references
would be good. Yeah, I can shoot. Let's test the inputs now. Yeah, I get the inputs and I can choose the point I need to throw. Yeah, get this input as well. Correctly. Okay. Great. So. Right, so it's working. And one more thing I can make this bass player controller parent of the third person, uh, third person player controller as well. That would be better, in fact, because in future, when I want to add common features that should be that is applicable for both third person game mode and the top down game mode i can just edit this base player controller so class settings let me just save everything just in case and then crashes parent And here, get input. Okay, now we can remove this part and just call I forgot that actually the top down because but still it worked because I have this so we can simply call this this should still work let's see There are errors in the third person game mode, but it's fine. Okay. So now let's look into the errors here. Yeah, this. Let me just delete this. input we don't need this here keep target location we do need uh, get current game mode we don't need so I'll leave, remove that now there should not be any errors no okay now let me switch back to third person mode let me change this name yes game mode okay things are working input mappings and tips are working everything is working all right so okay, okay that's enough all right so that's all i want to do in this episode so thanks for watching um as always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. See you in another episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.